Uh, so Neil, while that's happening, I, I go to the the town guard once again. Okay. Uh, I approach him and, and ask if if there is a distillery within the town uh, that serves fine spirits. Yeah, you betcha. Would you? How how would you say these? I mean, I'm I'm looking for a hundred gold for for a bottle. For a bottle? Really expensive. Um, I don't know if we have any bottles that are that nice. Hmm. Wait, I mean, what sort of bottle? Describe the bottle. bottle. I, I, it's just, it could be a normal bot bottle. I just need to know that uh, whatever's in it is very expensive. I can sell you a bottle of <laughs> wine for 100 gold. It's very great wine. I kind of look at the, the guard and... I don't even, I kind of smile a little bit and I say, never mind. <laughs> I walk away and, and uh, start making my way back towards the White Wizard. Okay. So I get in the White Wizard and I say, hello. Hello. Lab? Yes. Yes, Lab. Good Lab. <laughs> I say, what um, can I do for you? I'm, uh, I'm trying to... Uh, to work out this identify spell on uh, one of my uh, one of my friend's items, and uh, I, I need some certain materials, and I'm not sure really where to go for those. Do you happen to have the materials, and could I buy them from you? For the identify spell, of course, I have the the pearls and the wine, uh, the wine and the owl feathers all sitting on hand. In fact, I just used some yesterday for your little friend. Ah, yes, yes, yeah, she the she is a. One. I asked to, to do those as well, but she rather opted to pay you. So I guess this both this worked out for both of us. Um, however, could I give you 100, 130 gold for the uh, the materials? Let's call it 150. There's some markup because I, I had to go purchase these and now I can't use them. And let's call it 150. So I guess I look into my coin bag and notice <laughs> that I only have 138, right? <clears throat> Uh, I have you having 38. Jeff gave me 100 gold last episode. Oh, okay. So I don't have 150, basically? Yeah. I, I look back at him and I say, uh, look, I'm a little bit short right now. Uh, I can offer you 138. Someone's knocking on the door. <laughs> Bandit, I was just checking in on you. Are you good in here? You all good? Are you actually doing this? Vincent? Yes, I am. I actually am checking in on you. Say, <laughs> say Vincent. Uh, hello. Yes, I, I'm, I seem yes. to be a little bit short uh, in the materials required for this spell. Really? Uh, lab here was uh, helping oh. me out. Well, I also have 10 gold, which is your share from the boat sale that I just accomplished. <laughs> Wait, you so sold the boat? Excited. I did. It was my first sale. It's... Uh, <laughs> Start low and you build up from there. But how much more do you need? Is ten gold enough? He needs another two. Another twelve, yeah. Here, you know what? Let's here's here's thirty gold. Take the thirty gold. Perfect. <laughs> I say, uh, lab. Ah, uh, it's gonna head back to the tavern. I'll catch you two guys later. All right. All right. Good timing, by the way, Vincent. Very very uh, well done. <laughs> uh -huh. I uh, I give uh, lab the money and okay. uh, ask for the materials. He gives you the materials. Perfect. I say, well, um, I'm going to go check in on our friend, the Red Wizard. You have a good day. If there's anything else you need, let me know. We'll be at the tavern. See you there. <laughs> I say. Wait, I don't drink. I, I was like, uh, and I just walk out. <laughs> Best voice ever. And uh, I guess I head over towards the uh, the Red Wizard's place, if I know where that's at. Or I guess Yeah, I'd... sure, you know where it's at. Uh, so I walk in and say, uh, good day, sir. Uh, I assume you, you know who I am. He nods. Um, I was told by the mayor that uh, the wizards of the town uh, would have their spell books open to me to read. Could I perhaps read through yours? He, he made that promise, but he didn't ask us first. Do I need to go speak to the mayor? No, I, I think the mayor thought he could command us to open our spell books to you when he really can't. Um, I'm sorry for this miscommunication, 
but I do not feel comfortable opening my books to anyone. Understood. Understood. By the way, uh, just, you know, friend to friend, about maybe a week ago, you know, you know, you know the white wizard of the town, correct? In nods. So, uh, for some reason, and I turned him down because I'm, I'm just like you. I would never open my book to, to anyone. Um, he wanted me to, to steal your book and, and give it to him for some reason. So I just letting you know as a friend that that, uh, that did occur. Anyways, have a good day. And I walk out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Make my way towards the library and, and start looking for our, our books of the arcane or whatever books would have these spells in them. Um, you start. You know, you would know that there aren't really any spell books in the library. Sure. They wouldn't have those on hand, but you know, there's all sorts of knowledge to be had in libraries. They're amazing places. Everyone should support their local libraries. <laughs> okay, so I, that's what I spend the rest of the <laughs> day doing. Rainbow. And then uh, when night comes, I I start the identify spell on uh, the rod. On the minotaur baguette. rod. Yes. Baguette. On the minotaur's baguette. If, if it is a baguette that is bronze, then yes. Talk red. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you might want to get that looked at. <laughs> Why are you offering? I mean, I guess, yeah. Why not? All right, I go to the cock. Um, <laughs> okay, so what is the exact specifics of an identify spell? Uh, basically, I touch it, and the eight hours immediately preceding that, I can't. Yeah, you've got to spend a whole that. bunch of time in prep. So you got to get like your own room, you know, lock it up, tell no one, tell everyone that they can't come in. Not a problem. You do that. Does anyone disturb them during a spell intentionally? No. No, no one wants to <laughs> fuck with them. <laughs> Good question. Something. Though. Something. Okay, a chance of learning a piece of information about an item is equal to 10% per level of the caster to a maximum of 90%. Only one function of multifunction item is discovered. Do I have a to roll fifth level this? wizard could attempt to determine the nature of five different items, five different functions of a single item or any combination of the two. I don't have this text. I, this is like so much yeah, better the, text. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. The, the person who ended up inputting all those spells like skipped 90% of the identify spell. It's huge. Gotcha. Bless you, Ryan. Thank you. Here. Okay. Um, Shit. Sweet. So you are a fifth level wizard? Yep. All right. So you have 50% chance of learning something about this item, uh, uh, and you get five chances, or you can, you know, check multiple items. Uh, I'm just only, do the one I'm only checking this item, yeah. So I have to roll for this okay. then? No, I get to roll for it because if a roll of. 96 to 100 equals you get a false reading. Okay. And you get, you like misread it. Okay. It's kind of devious. <laughs> mm. You just misread it. I guess so. Okay. So through all your reads, you only get one uh, actual positive. Great. Uh, um, it is a rod of terror. Well, that would be a um, <laughs> what Jeff described it makes, as. Makes sense. <laughs> you can expend a charge to envelop yourself in a terrifying aura. Um, expel a all charge? within 30 feet who dispel a charge to envelop yourself in a terrifying aura um, all within 30 feet that view him must roll a successful saving throw versus rods or be struck motionless with terror those who succeed on their saves suffer minus one penalty to the morales and must make immediate morale checks however each time the rod is used there's a 20% chance that the wielder will permanently lose one point from his charisma score Holy shit, I'm not using that. A 20% chance, you said? One in five? Yeah. One in five. Hmm. I have pretty much... <clears throat> On the other hand, those that fail are completely frozen in, in terror, and it affects everyone within 30 feet. Even my team? We don't know, right? Uh, it didn't say otherwise. Does it... 
Do I, do everyone I... back. I'm going to turn <laughs> scary. <laughs> I'm going to turn into well, Batman who... for this round. It says everyone who views him. So as long as you're not looking at him. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I like this a lot. Does it? Does it have a command word, or do I sense that there's a command word or anything on it? Like, how do I activate? Uh, it? no. It's you just, you just point and will it to be so. Okay. All right. Um, you also sense that there may be further properties that you did not fully understand. Hmm. Understood. Or is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Basically, I'm a shitty identifier is what I surmise after this. You just got super fucking unlucky. <laughs> uh, all right. So I guess the next morning I come out of my room in a daze. Uh, I assume you guys are down at the, the inn? Yeah. yeah. Uh, go over to Vincent. You can tell that I haven't slept at all because I look like shit. <laughs> and uh, give him the rod and, and tell him what it is. And as, after telling him what I... Or what it is, I, I say, but use it cautiously. It was not a good night. And so there may be other things that this does that I'm unaware of. What do you mean use it cautiously, though? Can you? And he tells me everything, I guess, right? Yeah, I don't keep I don't anything know. secret so about it. So never mind, I already know then. Yeah. Okay. Very and, good, friend. Thank you. I shall use And let this me know well. to turn away when you use this. Oh, of course. We'll use it. We'll try to use it as wisely as we can. Okay. All right. Uh, other than that, I am actually good to go. So if you guys want to get out of this town... Um, we can. However, I think it might be... Well, you know, we need to find a boat, is, is what I was going to go to. Too bad uh, we just sold ours. Well. It was a little bit too big for our... You remind me. Bregor, here's your share of the bounty, and uh, use it wisely. I'm sure you don't <laughs> spend that all in one place. <laughs> How much you need it? a boat. It is ten gold, friend. Here you it's, go. That is quite the bounty. It is good. Um, now, of course, we need a boat. <laughs> Not that we would take a gigantic boat across the water. That'd be weird. I, I mentioned to uh, to Vincent that there were boats near the lighthouse. However, I'm not sure if they're good for crossing Those the sea. Those are rowboat. Those are rowboats. You said. Those are rowboats. Yeah. So I'm not... where are we? We're at. We're, You're we gotta, in a we gotta giant cross the port sea. city that you took a ship to this place. Like you yeah, landed here. Look at ship. the map. I'm trying to look for the name. Just Ars Bay. Yeah, we're all the way left in Just Ars Bay. So we have to literally cross this giant channel. I wouldn't even call it a channel. It's, it's, a, it's an ocean. Oh, wow. We're way over here. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Let we should have traded the boat oh, for a boat ride. Right. So we'll have to pay someone to take us across. Yeah. Go to that land and then cross that. And then... Uh, Pay someone on the other side of that, right? I mean, you just, you know, hop, pay someone to take you all the way to Windsail. Let me see here. Because you can just sail across and then go through the channel and then to Windsail. Because there's that little channel where Salt Breeze and Eastwatch are. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And Windsail, because it's red, means it's a big city or something like that, right? Uh, that means it's a fortified city or a castle or something like that. All right. Didn't, didn't Celia say she would pay for the boat ride, though? Yeah, she said she'd pay for your passage. Okay. Ah. So let's have Celia hire someone to take us to Windsail, and then we'll travel from there. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Neil, do we see what the town's doing with the boat when we walk outside? Are they like uh, dismantling? They haven't done anything yet. It's like you know, it's only been a day. Sure. <laughs> and you guys just sold them the boat. Sure. Ship. Ship. Damn it! I gotta stop saying boat. All right, so yeah, we're waiting on Celia. Okay. Um, she says, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go whenever you are. Let's go. Very good. We shall leave now, then. Excellent. You guys set off. She pays the dude. Um, conveniently, he was leaving just now, and so you guys all pile on the boat, and you sail across the sea. And uh, let's just fast forward until you dock at Windsail, unless there's anything you want to talk to her about while you're in the middle of the ocean. 
Uh, is she attractive, Neil? Yeah, I believe I said she was. Let me double check my notes here. I don't my think notes you told don't us if she was. She's. Let's find out if I haven't mentioned it. Um. Yeah, I would say she's reasonably attractive. Um. She's not like drop dead gorgeous. Not like that chick we murdered that was super hot. Which one was the chick you murdered? Uh, the thief. That oh, the like thief a... that went to the dock. The lady that had the Minotaur yeah. guard that I took his hey, bag hey, out. The woman that worked at the dock, yeah. Oh, oh right, right. Not not like her. Um, that she, she, yeah, this this woman is attractive, but, you know. Let's say versus not Abigail. To, uh, you break the chain over. Far more attractive than Abigail, I'm sure. Ah, Abigail. Yeah, most of them are. A solid two points higher, I would say. Yeah, we can objectively um, say that. If you want to measure close to Abigail, she is one charisma point higher than Abigail. Sick. Totally hot, then. <laughs> Way hotter. <laughs> Way hotter. <laughs> that extra point really does it. <laughs> so I guess while we're all around... <laughs> I guess we're all sitting around in the boat, just kind of killing time. I asked Jeff if he, or and I guess if Sila's is there as well, <laughs> if uh, if silver dragons tend to to travel in packs, or is she the only one of her kind or kin, or if she has other dragons within her family, or what? What? How that works? I've been trapped in this form for a long time, uh, not so long, but. Uh, Dragons are normally solitary creatures. I have left my family's nest about 700 years ago, and I've not yet found a mate. I've not really look, been looking for one either. Um, I've been trapped in this form for... She pauses and starts counting on her fingers. Five years. About 30 years. I ask her if she ages at all. I age, but elves barely age themselves so ah, stupid me i knew that <laughs> um i don't have any other topics or questions yeah i think we just land at wind sail okay and let abigail do you have anything or bregor no i'm good bregor do you want to try to befriend a dolphin or <laughs> uh see the you only thing is dolphins they wouldn't translate very well into pets we spend most of our time on land <laughs> You know? like ride it like a motorcycle in the water? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Medieval jet skis. Could I ride dolphins across the oceans? Like, as, you know, instead. If, if not you fucking properly, Aquaman, man. <laughs> if you properly befriended a dolphin, it would conceivably, like, you know, cruise with you on the top. However, to give them one, like, you know, more than a few hours, the dolphin's going to get fucking tired of hauling your ass around with your plate mail. And if you fall off, you're gonna to sink to the bottom of the ocean. And like, just yeah. drowns. <laughs> the um, <laughs> the advantage, the advantage though, of a dolphin is there's no trees in the ocean, so you tie it no, to a reef. No you danger know it. of that happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll skip the dolphin for now. We'll come back okay. to it. Maybe if I change my armor, I'll. Go do we see back. any whales, uh, Neil? That's the real question. Yes, yeah. you do see a whale. Ooh. Bregor. Six. Bregor befriends a sperm whale. A, wh a whale shark. That would be sick. Okay. It's off in the distance. It's too close to interact with, but you definitely see a whale doing like a woo, leaping through the air, and then there's a rainbow behind the mist that it leaves. It's a touching moment for everyone. Yeah. And then. Not, not me. I, I contemplated throwing a dagger at it, but I knew they couldn't reach it. Yeah. It's uh, more than 30 feet. So we land a wind sail. Is. As we kind of disembark, is this a. Is this a city worth shopping at? Like. You don't necessarily need to be in the biggest city. We're just kind of looking to buy, look for this healing. I guess to, to, the short the short question is: I look for a healing band or something in their inventory. Um, no, there's only a few magic shops here, but you see no such healing bands in them. They don't. Do they have any magic weapons like spear? Um, Daggers. There are a few magic items for sale. There is a. Um, Elvish there's a magic spear. There's a what? There, there's a magic spear and a magic axe and a magic short bow. A magic short bow, you say? Mm. Yes. Of 
like, can you tell me the properties like, of the spear in terms of like what it does and cost? Uh, just a, a standard plus two magic spear. It costs ten thousand gold. Um, magic axe is uh, axe of blasting. Um, hit the ground with it, kind of forms like a minor earthquake, knocks everyone to their feet, splits the ground about 30 feet out. Uh, it's 40,000 gold Holy for the shit. Axe of Blasting. Um, and the Magic Shortbow is a Shortbow plus one. It is 8,000 gold. Whoa. Any okay. armors? No. Okay. Oh, All right, well then, I'm bars. voting we just pass through the town and then walk onward. By the way, what, what is the HP of the party? Are we are at full? Are we all at full? I can't talk today. You know what I'm asking, though. <laughs> um, how long did you guys spend in Jostar's Bay? You just three spent another days, day? Three days, right? Two days? Two, three days? Yeah, two or three days. Two days. Some, I think two days. days. Uh, we spent the night when we met Sila. The next day, I spent yeah. studying and identifying the item, and then we left the next day. So Vincent right. would be at nine, Gregor is at forty-two. No, Gregor's at forty-four. Abigail is at nine, Wait, and how, Bannon is at eleven. How much time crossed when we were cross or passed when we were oh, crossing? Oh, that's true. You ocean. spent two. You spent three days on the sea. So add another three HP to all of that. So I'm at Wait, twelve. So when do we cross that shop thing? Like, how long are we staying there? What? What are you talking about? Well, the the thing with the shard, the shard go and everything. We're still here. We could say. Yeah, I know, but we're just, yeah, right. it's been a wind sail. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I don't um, know what's so going on. So <laughs> Abigail consults with the party and asks, "Do you guys think I should buy a shard bow plus one?" <laughs> no, not a plus one for eight thousand. We'll we'll get That's you something what better, I Abigail. Figured. I should find something with plus two or plus three. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get you something better. <laughs> Bannon just kind of stares at Abigail and like cocks his head. I'm like, what is this plus one? <laughs> that just makes me so mad that now I realize how much my plus two bow is actually worth. And then I just snap it. I, plus I two bow worth. that also had unlimited, uh, no range penalty. That thing was probably like range. 25k or something. Higher. No range oh penalty. Oh my lot, god, Brigor. Uh, I'm gonna, is there a healer in town? Yeah, there is a monastery. Take me, Neil, to this monastery. <laughs> you are at the monastery. Knock, knock. Who's Hello? There? Hi, my name is, uh, well, it's Vincent Longborn. I, I, as you can see, I'm quite disheveled in my health, and I would like some heals. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Longborn. I fancy myself a steak eater. I fancy sharpening of daggers and swords. I like... My women like I like my swords sharp because I care about the brains in a in a non-eating kind of way, more of a how they oh, think. Yeah, of course you're not a zombie. Right. No, right. not a zombie. No, not a zombie. We're on our way um, to try and free a friend from a. Curse. As this conversation's happening, though, know, I kind of walk off because I don't want to be seen and and jeopardize this. You care? I didn't think. I thought Vincent left on his own away from yeah. without the rest okay, of the party. Okay, I, I was right. just making that clear that I was not yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, the conversation would have gone a little differently with you standing about. <laughs> um, okay, so he says, well, but how uh, to, what, to what God do you pray? I am actually open to the religions of the land. I seek justice and honor and I protect those that, are, that I care for, but I have not yet pledged myself to a God. He nods and says, oh, it's, it's very reasonable. Um, you say you would like some healing done? We have healing uh, available, but it is costly. You look like a well-traveled man, so you must know this already, but you know, it, it will not be cheap. The, what the, did you do for me, friend? For what cost? How much would it cost you? Or cost uh, me? Cost you? Uh, he kind of looks over you. You are at what? 12. 12 out of 34. Yep. Um, so you're missing 22. So he's like, well, a donation of 200 or 250 gold would be appreciated. I choose the 200, friend. Would that cover it? 
if you want. Uh, in you theory, it will cover most of it. You have been so friendly. How about I give you 260? And uh, I just, we consider the rest a, a little bit of a tip for how kind you've been to me. He nods and says, uh, we, we thank you for your patronage. The, the church will be pleased to get this from you. Wonderful. I accept. Okay. So <laughs> I'm laugh when he's like, you're healed cast. for one HP. <laughs> you get 23 HP. Nice. So I'm one short. Yeah. No, I'm, one, I'm one over, so I'm, I'm good. Yeah, you're one over. Awesome. All right. So I head back, short 260 gold, and uh, I recommend to the party we leave unless they have something to do. Or actually, somebody else. Abigail's at nine health, right? So I look at Abigail. Nine? No, no, Abigail's at twelve as well. Well, twelve. 12. Yeah. Out of what? Twenty-eight or something like that. Yeah, twenty-eight. Well done. I nailed that. How many? Ab 20, she has twenty-nine actually. She rolled a plus one last time. Yeah, that's oh. true. Abigail, do you need healings? I guess I do. Bregor, also, as a reminder, we need to keep in mind that we're looking for elven armor for you. Indeed, yes. That's why I asked back there if Fair. there was armor. But uh, not, Elven armor is non-magical, so you can... Uh, they don't have it here, but it is a non-magical item, so you wouldn't look for it in a magic item store. Ah, okay. Wouldn't have it here as in the city or this shop? Uh, they don't have it. Well, I mean, you'd have to spend a while looking around through all the shops in the city, but in the shop that you guys were at, it's not there. All I right. go to the Elven Armor Shop mm -hmm. in town. No it's running a fire sale right thing. now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All Elven Armor must go. Must go! <laughs> there is a sale today! Oh, God. Okay, I go to an armory. Okay. And I, I question the man about Elven Armor. Uh, well, it's called Elven Armor because elves make it. Neil, doesn't um, this guy have an extreme list? No, he doesn't have an extreme list. Why would he have an extreme <laughs> list? I don't know, Neil. Why does he? <laughs> so, 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 is that your sarcastic uh, way of saying you don't have it? I'm just letting you know that elves make the armor. I'm not an elf. I'm a human. You want some elven armor? You're going to have to head over to the sea. Deep into elven lands. Or way, way to the south. But, uh... It's pretty uncommon around here. And by uncommon, I mean rare. Mm. Well, thank you for your time and your sarcasm. And I leave. Kind of gives you a bewildered look and then goes back to whatever he was doing. Do we know how long the trip is going to take in the boat? Like, would I have time to heal? You already took the boat trip. Oh, then I guess I do need to heal. Hmm. And okay. you guys don't want to wait around, so I guess I'll go to the priest guy as well. It actually should have taken another two days. I didn't count the whole thing. You should be at 14 and you should be at 15. You should be at 14 out of 29, actually. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. So you go to the... Where do you go? Uh, to the same place, Jeff. Uh, Vincent went. Okay, so you head over to the monastery. Mm -hmm. And say what? I say hello. I'm a friend. I'm a friend of Prince Longborn. I think he visited you earlier. The monk nods and says, "Yes, he did. What can we do for you?" Uh, I'm one of his party companions, and I would need some healing as well. I've been hurt in battle while trying to save a town from evil ogres. I see. And what is your relationship with the gods? I am interested in all religions. I like to listen to everyone's ideas. And then make my own someday. Make your own someday? Yeah, I'll pick a religion when I get convinced. Feel free to convince me, my friend. <laughs> he just like tilts his head to the side, kind of confused. Um, well, I, I'm sorry to say that your friend, your companion, actually uh, used up all of the spells that we had for the day. Maybe if you come back tomorrow. Oh, all right. Well, can you can you tell me a little bit about your religion? 
he starts talking to you about uh, Sol, the god of the sun. So do I learn a couple things about that? Do you pay attention? Yeah. Yes, you learn some things about Sol. Sick. All right, so I guess I might be back tomorrow. Okay. And he hands her the book of Sol, which is a well-written book. <clears throat> Uh, Neil, as we're at the uh, bar or tavern that night, I assume. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Abigail, do you have anything to drink while we're at the bar? I would assume yes. Mm -hmm. I so guess. I take out one of my potions and pour while she's at the thing and pour a little bit in there I, to to top off whatever drink she's at. Do you pour like the whole potion, or, like part of the potion? To top off whatever she's at. <laughs> I guess you're asking how much I, I want to heal her for. Um. Like a third of it. A third of it. If that is, unless, um, unless it's only half or all. Yeah, it's half or all. I'll do half. Okay. And I'll try to do it Have where no gain. one sees me. Well, you know what? You should roll for this stuff. You should roll. Why am I rolling? Yeah, I agree. Roll D4 plus 1. Those are some shitty potions. 3. 3. Abigail, you gain 3 life. Well, because you're only giving half, so. Ah, uh, that's true. Touche. Mm. Abigail's at 17 out of 29, and you are down half on healing potion. All right. Um, if we're going to end here, does anyone else want to do anything for the rest of the night? Nope. Okay. Um, we should we take should definitely a break. <clears throat> break, so yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be going into hour two of week 21. We'll see you guys in a, maybe a little bit longer because I'm going to restart Skype and uh, try to get some things a little bit better on our end. So. Be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. More role play coming up after this.